Hello, guys. I'm Scar here from the Score Esports here with Revolta from INTZ. Uh, unfortunately, they weren't able to make it out today of Group C. However, uh, one of the, I have a few questions to ask you. Uh, first of all, I, week one just finished, and you're coming into week two, uh, one and two. What was your preparation looking like going into week two? So, first of all, we had to figure out the meta because after we played against CDG, we kind of knew that both teams didn't know what they were doing, so we just won because they weren't prepared for us. Um, and the other games, we kind of had like super bad drafts and we didn't know what we were picking. So we had to figure out the meta and counters to the meta started appearing and we had to deal with it in like three days. We we're not used to that. So I think we, we are not so experienced on like big stages and uh, big tournaments like this where things just changes from, to, from one day to another. Um, you spoke about the meta a little bit. What, what did you see the meta as yeah, in this group stage? I think uh, early game pressure is important, but you can deal with if you have enough engage. I think engage is super good now. And like the jungle matchup will only matter so much if you don't have uh, enough pushing lanes. Otherwise, you can just pick uh, whatever matchup you want it's, is better for your team. But if you have like pushing lanes and you have the stronger jungler, you can do whatever you want to do. So laning phase matters a lot. Uh, let's work off that a little bit. So your first game today was against EDG. And on, and you were playing Skarner against Rek'Sai. They had two pushing lanes mid and bot and they shoved you in and they contested your blue buff. Uh, it was a really, really hard contest. Uh, what kind of happened in that situation? So we, we started the game with like saying that we could push bottom or we didn't know exactly what we could do bottom and i said oh can i invade him at blue because if he starts gromps I, I can steal his blue in level three gank top that's what we wanted for the start and then uh they pushed bottom we didn't communicate properly and they saw me on on their, their spirit wolf i guess and then when i went back bot side they were on our blue so it was kind of unexpected and right there, we just bought a fight we shouldn't, basically. Like, we could have gone away wasting Alistair Flash instantly, but it wasn't optimal for us. Um, speaking about Alistair, Alistair is a really big, huge pick in that world so far. Uh, at the beginning, no one really picked Alistair, but then Mata picked it, and all of a sudden, everyone else ended up picking it. Do you think that my Alistair became like a huge power pick for every team? I think... Uh, Alistair is a really good pick for every team because it's the basically the only support that can actually engage properly. Like he can just brute force stuff, and this is other reason for Alistair is people just love Caitlyn, and Caitlyn Alistair is a really good lane. Like you just you can combo trap and jungle will come and you kill them. So there are a lot of stuff you can do with Alistair Caitlyn, but also you can play Alistair Sivir. You can play a, a lot of stuff that can just go in and engage because. Uh, with Gragas off the table, you have no super hard engaged junglers. So Alistair becomes uh, super good again. All right, great. Talk to me about the jungle style, I guess, for this world. I understand you came in the first day, your Lee Sin looking, looked really good. You go into to the next week, you play Lee Sin on your second game today. Uh, How do you kind of feel that you matched up in the jungle against all these other junglers? I think uh, my experience in Europe made me not lose super hard to them and like because the difference between uh, minor regions to like China, Korea is that the jungler will work with his laners when it comes to minor regions the jungler will work by himself so when when you're playing alone you you give more chances for the, the other jungler to beat you basically and that's what we learned this tournament and we were kind of trying to do that but it's super hard like in three days you can't really do that. So basically the jungle meta is Elise, Olaf, uh, even Skarner. I think Skarner is a good pick in some situations. Uh, I don't think Rek'Sai is super good. I think Rek'Sai uh, is a pretty more because of Caitlyn. Like you, you just go Rek'Sai uh, full tank and ninja tabs and Caitlyn can't do anything to you. Uh, so yeah. Well, talk to me about your full year. You know, you struggled really, really hard to make it to Worlds. Uh, you got here, you won the game the first week. Unfortunately, your second week didn't turn out too hot. But how was the whole year in review for you? So, uh, to be honest, 
this year has been rough for us because despite we won two splits and we won the wild card, we didn't have any breaks this year because of the Olympics. We couldn't take any breaks uh, between the first and second split and we have no breaks between the second split and the wild card. So we were playing for like nine months without any breaks and we were kind of burned out. And we had a time that we were fighting between uh, each other. We were not talking to each other sometimes and it was kind of rough. Sometimes we would just think, oh, this team is not going to make it. We're not going to win CB Law. We're not going to win uh, Wildcard. But as we are like super friends, when it happens, we just uh, get out of our chairs, go to like some park or something like that and talk to each other. Uh, how important do you think communication is in a team? Whenever I ask a lot of other people, th uh, they give me different answers on what the most important thing about being a team is. Uh, would you rate communication very, very high then for yourself? I think communication is super important, uh, especially when you're playing against a better team. Because if the other team know, knows the how to play the game better than you, he will see more stuff and they won't talk as much as you because they don't need to because they see it and they use it to that. So sometimes like you see a wave coming uh, coming to your turret and you just call your jungler and say they're gonna dive me and like minor regions will say the wave is coming maybe they can dive us maybe they can't like we don't really know what's going on so we waste like 10 seconds talking about it and we lose more time than the other team so I think communication is super important, especially when you're playing against a better team. Uh, I guess, what's in the future for you guys? I understand you guys didn't have much of a break. Is, is it vacation? Are you guys going to all go your separate ways and like go to a different country to break for like a couple months and come back? So, to be honest, I don't know. Uh, we haven't spoken about it, but I kind of want a week break at least. And maybe I'm going to stay here until the finals and that's my vacation. <laughs> because when, when we're on vacations and we stay home, we just play league. So <laughs> we, we kind of love the game. And yeah, like this year has been rough for us. So I think we deserve a break, but we'll not stop practicing until like we stop playing basically. Um, do you have any final words, anything you want to say to fans out there, uh, mainly English-speaking fans out there uh, that happen to watch you throughout your entire world's run? I just, the only thing I can say is thank you for supporting us. Like, the crowd here was amazing and I saw that a lot of fans on Reddit and even on Twitter and Facebook were supporting us and they just loved us. Uh, I don't know why, maybe it's because we won against ADG, maybe, maybe it's because they just love us, so thank you very much and thanks for every fan in Brazil that supported us until the end. Well, I'm Scar here with the jungler from INTZ. Uh, unfortunately, they didn't make it out, but here's hoping they can do better in the future. Um, I'm here from the Score Esports to get more, more content online or on our mobile app. Thank you guys. Hope you guys have a nice day.